Well, back here on China 24, we're continuing with our special coverage on the third plenary meeting just underway here in Beijing. Now, calls to reform the state-owned enterprises has grown steadily louder as the key meeting of the Central Committee began on Saturday. Some of these suggestions include introducing market competition and stepping up efficiency within these giant companies. Our colleague, Danini, reports. A possible restructuring of China's oil giant, CNPC, has placed it at the forefront of reform talks. With 1.5 million employees, the CNPC or PetroChina is Asia's largest integrated energy company. It has a monopoly of over 55 percent of China's crude oil resources and 65 percent of its natural gas. Experts expressed breaking up the company into different parts to increase its efficiency. Since PetroChina controls the majority of pipelines in the country, the first step is to open up these lines to other enterprises. Secondly, the group should set up different corporations to manage its different businesses, oil exploitation, oil services, pipelines and natural gas. China's SOEs have for years been in charge of key industries and have given China the building blocks for its rapid development. But several SOEs, including China Ocean Shipping Company and China International Marine Containers Group, have posted a sharp drop in profits in the past years. Voice for reform is getting louder. Suggestions including shifting the division between government and business, modernizing the company management system, and reducing the SOE's role in carrying out the government's economic agenda. Experts expect some reform proposals to be unveiled during the third plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee. The third plenum is likely to set the tone for the SOE reform. I think the reform is to introduce market competition, build an innovative corporate structure and diversify the equity holders. However, reform could be a gradual process. Some concrete steps have already been taken, with private investments allowed into some areas in energy and finance. To continue the reform will be a daunting but crucial task for China's leadership. Zhang Yinyi, CCTV, Beijing.